Hello, my name is Callum and welcome to the forest. As you can see at the moment, we're in a plane with this kid leaning on our shoulder. Probably related to us, considering he's got his hand on us. But we're just a really nice gentleman. He's like, yeah, okay, you're going to lie on me. I would just sit here awkwardly and look out the window. Oh, and now we're crashing and the kid's awake. And he's like, ah, why? And there's no one else in the plane. We are obviously very rich people who bought this very expensive plane. We can outcrash for some reason into a forest. That wasn't expected at all. Oh, and blackout. What's going to happen next? Oh, we're now in the middle. And this guy is staring at that kid a little bit weirdly. Oh, he's just picking him up. That's fine. Actually, no, it's not fine. It's my kid. I need my kid. Dave! Dave! Okay, so... The tribesmen have Dave. We must get Dave back. I don't know if you can actually get Dave back, but... We can try. So, The Forest is a game by NI Games, and I'd like to thank them first for providing this press copy so I could do this series. Now, this series is a part of a set of series where I will be visiting several different early access games and playing them just to see, just so you guys can see whether they're worthwhile investing in at, the, at their current state and whether anything you were actually expecting. Because when I first uh, loaded up Forest, I've played several games of it so far, I was expecting just a casual survival game, one like many others that exist at the moment. But instead, there is some actual horror elements to the game, which make a bit of a difference, it makes it a lot more intense, and obviously, in this type of uh, area, you would be scared. I think the reason the horror elements, I don't know if there's any sort of gameplay or lore behind the horror elements at the moment, but my reason, I think the reason they added the horror elements is to actually make you scared, because in a game, you don't really have to fear for your life, because it's a game. Yeah, obviously, if you die, you lose all your stuff, but you can just respawn and play again. And I think the, the whole element sort of just added in to actually make you scared while playing. To keep you on your toes, as you will. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm collecting a ton of resources. Um, one of the first things is I wanted to get some lizard skin, because that I can use for armour. At the moment, I can only store one of these war lizards, so that's why I'm not killing any of the others. But we need to get some resources together to go off and basically build our first sort of shelters, etc. Um, shelter and a fire, which will be very useful in just keeping us safe. And hopefully safe from these Thai people who obviously, I don't know, they're definitely not friendly. I played it and they're definitely not friendly. I mean there is an effigy that I really want to show you where, if I can find it, and it's basically where they've got a head of a person as like a video camera or, or a normal photography camera in between their mouth and it's their head tied to a load of sticks which is fantastic um, it's a great CCTV system, I mean you wouldn't expect it as a CCTV system never though they may have underground electronics connecting them and they're just watching me as I walk past it which is why they probably find me quite often but if it's not a CCTV system, it is definitely scary as hell too. It makes you go, yeah, I'm not going to take a camera me. That's the definite. I don't want to be eating camera while dead. I would rather be buried in a proper grave or um, cremated. That's the other one. So, I've never actually explored this area. I don't know whether it's... Oh, it's a spear! Oh, shit! Okay, we got a spear, guys. We're sorted. But I don't know whether it's randomly generated or whether the plane just crashes in different areas of the forest. But I'm just going to change to my axe because the axe is better at chopping stuff. Because that's its job. That's what it was meant to do and that is what it will do. And this is also probably the better weapon. The spear can keep them at bay but I would just rather just stab them. And kill rabbits. And then here goes like 10... 10... Animal activist comments like, "Oh my God, you killed a rabbit in the game." It's a game, guys. It's, it's a game. Oh, and another spare. I don't, I don't need a spare. I seriously don't need a spare. There seems to be loads of spears around here, which are probably theirs. 
And so I'm going to leave the rest of the spears before they spear me. So where I'm heading at the moment is the beach. Because the beach is the best place. Oh, we got some effigies. The beach is, about, is probably the best place because you want an open area. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, that is how you make an effigy. And what's the other one over here? This is... Ugh. Ah, it's it's like the scene from... Oh, what's that film? What's that Disney film? De Lady in the Tramp, where they're eating spaghetti, except from they're eating their guts and their heads are upside down and disconnected from their bodies. And is this another effigy? Oh, yeah. these effigies are great. You can actually make these yourself if you kill some of the people. Oh, no, this gets to repeat the other one. But if you kill some of the types of people, you can actually use them. Chop them in part into parts and use their body parts to make effigies. Which is fantastic. I don't know if it actually dissuades them from approaching you. But it looks pretty cool. And that's all you like in a game. Figs that look pretty cool. Is this is this body part? No, it's a brick. So this is where we're going for because then I could build a place there. The plane is actually in view, which is fantastic. I don't know why I didn't see this before. I'm an idiot. But I can build it here. Then if they want to approach me, I will see them and I can run, most likely. Or if I'm an idiot, try and fight them. That is the plan. So, oh, there's a guy there. We'll go over them and we'll chop them up into little pieces. And I just looked over at my timer and realised I didn't set my timer. Yay! So we're just going to play. What we're going to do is we'll probably play one night. And I could chop him up for some reason. Look. Won't let me chop him. But he's got a lovely face. And what is that? Um. Oh, he's got it's a starfish in him. I thought he had a starfish stuck to his ass. Which is definitely a unique way of defending yourself from attacks at the butt. So what we're going to do now is going to open up the survival book. And we're actually going to get progressing. Now it does say to build a hunting shelter. But I find building a temporary shelter is better because it's quicker to build. And that means you can get doing other stuff instead of wasting time chopping down the big trees, which are those ones, which take quite a while to chop down. I'll actually show you how long they take to chop down. I will chop down one of them, or get it nearly chopped down. So I don't really want logs just going anywhere. And what I do like is the mechanic that you actually have to chop all the way around the tree. I don't know if it's perfected yet, but this is a alpha 0.04. So quite early on, so there's going to be changes made, most likely, to both graphics and gameplay. I'm just going to all out, and then it collapses. Now it doesn't always destroy straight away, like so. And then bits will go flying off there. So we've got five logs there, so that's cool. That is how you chop down a big tree. But we're going to go around and chop down these plants, because then we get leaves and sticks. Which we need for finishing off our temporary shelter. Now, when we see these tribesmen, depending on who they are, I will try and find them. There is, they normally go round in groups of one to four. I'm ha I'm happy to take on the groups of one and two. Three is all right, but four I would definitely not go for because one of the things they like to do is they they're really skillful. They're not idiots. They're skillful. They will. One of them will one at you and go to hit you, and then once they've gone, someone else will at you. So you will be running, trying to get away from them, but they'll be keeping up to you and getting hit on you. No matter what, you cannot out one these guys. It is seriously hard. What I found it difficult, it might just be that I'm an idiot, but yeah, I found it difficult to go. Do. Go. Go is a great word. Anyway, so what we're going to build now is our basic fire. We're going to build it close to our camp because... If it's cold and it's raining, and it's not, and it's night time, you can actually start to get cold, and your screen stuff will start to appear on your screen, which will basically blur your vision. And I haven't yet died because of it, because I didn't want to test it out because I I, I like surviving. Surviving's good, but I have a feeling you probably die. No, I do, I don't want to pick up the rocks. I'm trying to pick up the stick. God damn it. And, oh, we didn't need that many sticks, we just need more leaves. Well, thank you for telling me, people. Ah! 
Oh, and there's a briefcase. Might as well have got the briefcase open. Boop. Drugs and what was that? I think that was, was that cloth? I mean we picked up cloth. All I'm gonna say is cloth of boost is amazing. You can make Molotovs. Absolutely amazing. And then you can burn and try people alive. Which is beautiful. Beautiful sight. The only problem is I haven't found a way to What's it called? Um I'm trying to figure the word now. I haven't found a way, oh yeah, to basically switch to a different weapon without throwing a Molotov at yourself. That is a, proved to be a difficult feat, and has led to me killing myself several times, which I don't really plan on doing. You have two lives, well, you sort of have two lives in this game. You die first time and you spawn into a cave, which I don't know where the hell the cave is. You have to try and escape the cave, I'm guessing. And if you die in the cave with your super low health, the game ends and you are dead. So as long as we stay survive on the upper world and don't go into the outer world, well the underworld, as I'm gonna, because I found no escape, so I'm just saying it's underworld and you can't escape from it. That's my my conclusion. As long as we don't go to the underworld, we'll be fine. As soon as we're in the underworld, I will probably die that episode. So yeah, sorry lizard. I've eaten your brethren, now I want you for armor. No, do not run away from me, lizard. I will kill you. I will kill you for Dave. There we go. And now we can put on some more lizard armor. And we may actually have to cook some more food. Because I want to get our health up to a reasonable uh, sort of level for when we do face some tribe people, which will inevitably happen because they're amazing trackers. Ah, I may need a leaf. I need to get a leaf to get the fire back up and running. And then we'll get cooking food, get our health up. And then hopefully at night time I will get to show you some Indians if the... Wow. I did it again. This is the third time recording. I didn't stop recording because I made an Indians. Well, I stopped recording because of something else. But every single time I have called them Indians instead of tribesmen. Seriously. They're not Indians. Brain, you. Brain, I hate you. I hate my brain. Now my brain's going to stop working. I'm just going to fall down. I'm just collapse. My words are going to slur. There we go. Now we can cook some more lizard. Oh, how I love lizard in the morning. Now there is. We have got a spear, yeah. We have got a spear. Normally, if we didn't have a spear, because I didn't know we could find spears everywhere else, over there, I'm guessing, because this actually looks exactly like every single item I've played on, is... Oh my... Oh! Oh yeah! Wayne puts out fire! Mind blown. There we go, it's cooked. And our health is up even more. So over there, there is a tent with a spear. Where someone obviously tried to survive on here, met the tribes people, and did not survive. Because those guys are pretty good at what they do. Pretty good at being a tribe and pretty good at killing people. As we saw by the axe embedded in the hostess. Or flight attendant, or whatever they're called. They're called something. But we now have some more lesser armor. And I feel we're still we're still not ready to take on tribe people. Oh, oh yes, this is basically telling us what the different foraging we can do. So the black twin berry are toxic, and the overleaved blueberries are not toxic because they're blueberries. And blueberries are not toxic. At least I hope they're not because I've been eating blueberries for a while, and <laughs> if they're toxic, well, they take a while to work. That is for definite. So. What are we going to do now? Because we have day and... Oh, we'll just drop it We'll collect supplies and we'll get ready... Oh, we got a flashlight. Yeah, buddy. We're going to collect supplies so we can make Molotovs in case loads of Indians attack us and we're not ready for them. That is a plan. Get some of these. I don't know whether these... I haven't done any medicine stuff yet. But there is medicine signs over it, so I'm guessing it might prove useful. 
Maybe. Maybe not. And yeah, let's chop, chop over these two and then we'll move back because it's starting to get a bit dark and I don't trust a lot. I don't trust anything. Anything at all. I have too many rocks apparently. You know what? Even though I've got I've got some of your meat and I can't store your meat anymore. I want your armor. Thank you. Yep, can't carry any more war lizards. So any try people about It seems to be every time I set up a camp in all my other saves. Oh I gotta I gotta watch my blood. Ooh, whammo! The Saxons. It seems every time I play on any other saves and set up a camp, the in the the tribe people tend to find me. Yeah. Uh, watch off. Watch the border. Ugh. It's a shark. Can I eat the shark? No. I think the shark is, is pretty dead. Oh, can we swim over here? Oh, gee. Is there anything in here? Please be no sharks. Please be no sharks. Can we swim? Oh, damn. Can we get there? Please say we can get there. Oh my god, we're swimming there. We're actually making it. I've never done this before. I see you! I see you all! I just realised those fins are there for a reason. Sharks have fins. I don't like sharks. Okay, maybe another time. Maybe when we have more health and more armour. And those Indians seem to have seen me. Twice people. Twice people seem to have seen me. How many of you is there? Look. Okay, there's three of you. So, we have an option here. Fight the tribe people, or fight the sharks. Of which there is a lot. I do value my chances against the tribe people a lot more. Aha! Look, I have a head. I have one of your heads, and I'm, I'm not afraid to use it. I will beat you with your own head. Oh, they've, they've lost him twice now. Good. Good. We'll just, we'll, just, we'll just stay behind here. Pick up some booze. Peek around. You don't see me. Jump in here. Some more tribes, people. Oh my god, there's loads. We're gonna get up in this rock here and we're gonna crouch and hope they don't see us. This is this is difficult. Definitely not more challenging. And they go up there, which is a bad thing because they're probably gonna come back at any point. Yeah! Wicked is a great spot to live. Fantastic. Oh, I, I, I'm, de I'm, I'm definitely good at choosing spots to live. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, coins. Everyone loves coins in the middle of a place where you can't even use them. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna cook some more food. This food's good. We're gonna put some armor on. Even with all of this. I could still not take on a group of four of those guys. That is for definite. They are they are difficult. They are difficult to take on. It's probably possible. But not for me. Definitely not for me. You need to wait for this to cook, then ah. Eat it. Probably kill actually no, we'll cook we'll cook the other rabbit. Cook the rabbit, then we'll go try and find another lizard. Without thinking too far. There's a lizard like in that sort of area before the tree line. We'll get it. Um what? Sleep. And then we'll leave it off there. Now if you're interested in watching more of these, uh please drop a like, subscribe to keep up. And every Monday and possibly Friday. At the moment it's just every Monday, there'll be an episode of me playing the forest. But I may change it to two episodes depending on what other early access games I have. And whether I can play them. Like whether the recording works or whether there is no embargo. Because I do have a couple of games with embargo on. But I, and a couple I do need to check. So it all depends. But 
I will put in the description a link to the website, a link to the Steam page, we can buy it, and a list of the current schedule. And I see you. I thought I saw you. I thought I saw Lizard. Aha! Lizard, no! Why? There we go. No one saw me. You did not see me. You did not see me! Good. No one saw me. Great. Now what we can do here. Is we did yeah, we did eat that about. Boom. Oh yeah. So much changes to our normal skin. Time to sleep. And that will be it for today. Hopefully. No Indians around. Twice people! Twice people! I said twice people. You heard me say twice people. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I've been Callum. And see you next time.